right guys and this is as far as we're going to get on day one of the off-grid aquaponics solar build it's getting late and I've actually run into a few challenges which I'll talk about briefly but as you can see we've got the 100 watt Renology solar panel it's uh, set to I don't know 55 60 degrees or so and as you saw I built the frame for it out of half inch conduit and I used the uh, Renology brackets here which tied into the back of the solar panel so we've got the conduit running down over and then back up and uh, the feet on this end are a little bit longer so that it doesn't wobble and as you can see I placed the dry box on top of it to hopefully keep it secure and uh, you know prevent wind or anything else from accidentally knocking it over um, I'm not really a metal worker by any means but what I did manage to do here was on the top and bottom I attached a, a bracket that I made and uh, it has several different holes in it which will allow me to adjust the angle of this solar panel over time by making this leg either shorter or longer which is uh, a nice little feature and um, as you can see here we've got the wires from the solar panel running down through the side of the box here into the dry box and inside the dry box we have another box this is the battery box and inside that is the battery as we've seen we have not hooked that up yet because the battery is actually live it's uh, charged so uh, we don't want to hook that up till we're ready but we have the solar controller on top and uh, the first set of wires are coming from the solar panel itself and those are these two right here the next two are ready to go for the battery um, they're plugged in to the uh, solar controller and then I just need to plug these in to the battery itself all I need to do is pop this open and uh, attach those so that's ready to go and this is where I ran into problems here right at the end I completely forgot to get a fuse and uh, I'm not comfortable with finishing this thing without a fuse um, so this is our DC pump it's going to be in the water uh, and these are very very tiny wires if I can even get them to focus and um, the only thing I have is heat shrink tubing to connect these wires to another piece of wire and this is a much thicker gauge wire and so um, this heat shrink tubing is actually not going to work for my purposes here which is kind of a bummer uh, so I'll need to come up with a better way to do that or I might need to get another pump which uh, has a finished end to it instead of just the the bare ends maybe a thicker wire too would be uh, good but um, I'll work on that I'll figure out a way to connect that up to uh, a larger piece of wire and uh, get that connected to the third part here of the solar controller which is the um, device that we're trying to power as you saw towards the end of the video we installed this on off switch which I think is a nice feature and that's uh, uh, rainproof waterproof so that uh, with a flick of the switch I can turn my pump on or off and so essentially what I'll do is the positive from the pump I will run through this on off switch and uh, the negative I'll just run directly back to the solar controller and uh, that will allow me to flip that on and off at will uh, not have to open up the box to uh, to do that and uh, it'll give me much better control over the aquaponics setup so um, the fuse would have to go in between uh, the pump itself and the solar controller I believe 
And so I'll need to go hunting for one of those before I can set this up for real. But anyways, it's been raining for the past two days and it's dark outside. So it's not like I can uh, haul this outside and test it out quite yet. But we are getting there. We're getting close and I'm getting pretty excited about finishing this build. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video, part one of the off-grid aquaponics solar build. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.